we're going. Hi, I'm Fan Man here. I'm your teacher today. I'm going to teach you something about food chemistry. Be doing live demonstration on cooking. Right here, I am in Laramie, Wyoming, at Carol's place. So first thing is right. This is a wok here. Um, you need to plug it in because it's electric wok. Make sure that right. You see, there are two pins here. One side is a bit rounder than the other. This is something I didn't realize. So the one that's a bit bigger should go to the left, right? Okay, it's very subtle. Now, next thing is right, you need to turn on the heating element here, right? So at one, it is not heating, but I would always be above like three to make it warm. Now, it's very important that the wok mustn't be dirty, right? So we have cleansed it, you know, thoroughly last time, and uh, it's dry. Why must it be dry? The chemistry is that if it's wet, we're going to put oil inside, and oil is hydrophobic, water is hydrophilic, they don't mix together well, right? So when it's hot and then you jump and you get hurt, ah, no good. So next thing is, right, so I'm going to put it a bit higher and you're going to put your hand, okay, again, wash and clean, close to the surface of the wall. Not touching it because you get scared, okay, and have some injury. But you can feel that there's some warm air coming in, okay? This is when you know it's time. Time for what? Time to add some oil to lubricate the surface, okay? So first, we're going to add a bit of oil, okay? Not too much though, okay? Always have your, what do you call this? Spatula. A spatula, okay, fine, it's the same. Like a metal spatula, or spatula in the lab. You mix it around such that it's all even up, okay? Good. And the first ingredient we're going to do is... Hear the sound? Sitting sound, sizzling? It's heating up. Will be... The garlic! Here comes the garlic. Okay. Wow. I know you can't smell it, you can only see it, but try to visualize that, you know, and imagine you're doing that. Oh. The fragrance is coming out. So great. And tonight, if there's somebody that I'm not going to invite to have dinner with me, guess who will that be? It's Dracula. Because uh, vampire doesn't like garlic. Okay, so next thing is right. Okay, oh, okay. Let me sure you can see the surface here. If you can oh, copy. okay. Okay, next thing is we'll be adding some onion. Hear that? Onion. Okay, yeah. You cry when you cut onion because in between the layers, it releases some sulfur dioxide, which is acidic. And because when it goes to our eyes, you see, at this point, we should put it a bit lighter now. If not, all the ingredients become overly cooked, which is something we want to avoid here. Okay, so lower the temperature. Right, you can see that a little bit of the garlic is a little bit burnt, but it tastes very good. I was saying that when you cut off the onion, you cry because the sulfur dioxide goes to your eyes and the ice is wet. So what happens is, it will become sulfuric acid that makes us tear because you know it's acidic. Next, we're gonna add some of this uh, carrot here that has been pre-chopped by my very good host, Carol, mm -hmm. right? Now, why do we not pre-cook the carrot is that, you know, carrot has some oil inside here that's very good for the body. We would like to bring out the oil using oil, which is a miscible solvent. So at this juncture, beside the original oil that we added, we will be adding some more oil to bring out the oil. So make sure it sits here nicely, and we need to add some more oil. Okay, here we go. Try to even it out, spread it around here. A little bit more is fine because later on we'll be cooking some good meat. Increase in temperature because I want to save time on this video here. Yeah. Okay, Carol has been holding on to the camera for <laughs> some time here. It's not like you know, camera is really heavy, right, Carol? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can use both hands, you know, if you would like to. Okay, good. And so you spread it around first. Um, if you are trying to mix it too much, it means that the carrot pieces won't get too much heat. So you got to increase the temperature and let it rest for some time, perhaps 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Listen, okay? Ecoute, this is in French. You have to listen for the sound. The sound is the telling sign that whether your food is enjoying the heat of the wok, okay? So after a while, okay? Right. 10 seconds, you hear the alarm. Dee, dee, dee. This is when <laughs> you start to stir, okay? Stir it around. You might need to hold to the left side of the wok here. I'm right-hander, so I'm not blocking the view. Okay. Okay. I will increase the temperature a bit more to accelerate the process. 
Take note that in this chemical reactions, there's no catalyst involved, it's only heat. The temperature is giving off all the energy here. We are not changing the mechanism, okay? So you see that, wow, the oil is really mixing well with the carrot here. It's going to be so tasty. Next, okay, I'm going to get ready to the next ingredient. We're going to add some celery and also pasticum. You call it pasticum or no, yellow pepper. We're going to add it in to the middle, so we're going to make space for that. So we open up some space in the middle here, okay, and all the way in, okay. We'll pre-cook the vegetables first, and then later on, at the end, you see what we are really cooking. So we pause for a while and we stop the video. Yeah.